But Frank, why should I get a tattoo? Pretty simple actually. A lot of baddies have tattoos and baddies like dudes with tattoos. Therefore, if you want a girl with a pretty face and fat coochie, getting a tattoo will drastically increase your chances of doing so. And people don't really care about their health in general, so why would they start considering any potential issues with getting a tattoo? However, even those that are health conscious are generally convinced otherwise by authority, you know, that whatever they're doing is perfectly healthy and the true real negatives are pretty hard to find even when you're looking for them. When you physically get a tattoo, it's basically a bunch of tiny needles that go deep into the second layer of skin, inserting different types of ink to create said artistic images. And this comes with two predominant risks, one being the initial tattooing and two being the reactions and long-term damage from having the ink, the toxins in your body. So these initial tattoo risks are from physically getting the tattoo and typically occur in the immediate healing process. Of course, there is physical pain and discomfort from sitting under a needle for hours and hours. And if you choose to use numbing cream, those creams can have pretty strong nerve side effects, causing a lot of stress on the body to detox, especially the brain. Infection, you know, in the average person on a poor diet, high radiation environment, poor immune system, this can actually be a pretty big issue. Allergies, you know, reactions to the ink, the different colored pigments, which can happen immediately or prolong themselves over years and years. Of course, you have scarring, scar tissue, raised bumps, distortion of the tattoo, and some people have very sensitive skin, whereas other people do not. And I guess you can lump potential cosmetic problems and dissatisfaction with the tattoo here. Now, the main thing making these tattoos bad is you know, what's physically in them, the ink. Having two components, the carrier and colorant also has additives, including binding agents, fillers, preservatives, things to avoid the growth of bacteria, prolong the shelf life of the product. The carrier is the fluid that transports the colorant to the tattoo area, typically containing isopropyl alcohol, glycerin, water, other organic or non-organic ingredients. And this reminds me of native deodorant, you know, having similar stuff in it. And it's all laboratory processed crap made from corn. It's not good for you. You don't want it in your body. The colorant, obviously giving color to the tattoo. Pigments made out of intensely colored compounds that reflect light, you know, essentially finely ground solid particles mixed with liquid. And there's two kinds of pigments, organic and inorganic. Organic pigments coming from natural sources, while inorganic pigments, the same ones used in paint, printing ink, and plastic are much worse for you. Now, especially in the last 20 years, most tattoo artists have been using more inorganic or synthetic pigments you know, derived from petrochemicals like coal tar because they look brighter, last longer, essentially making a better tattoo, but it's worse for you. Today, most tattoo inks, especially those brighter colored ones, are created from compounds that mostly use heavy metals, cadmium, chromium, copper, cobalt, or lead, and Regardless of whether they're organic or inorganic, any highly colored compound is so concentrated with chemicals and toxins and stuff you don't want in your body. Once you understand that, it's kind of like, okay, why would I willingly inject toxins and chemicals that probably amount to years and years of having a polluted lifestyle? You know, how long until that tattoo fades depends on how strong your immune system is. Your body is attacking the ink as a foreign invader, bringing it to the liver and breaking it down so it can be removed from the body. And tying into you know, sun exposure and tanning, kind of ruining tattoos, I think vitamin D you know, plays a big role in the immune system and getting it to work better. And also the sun physically fades away the ink. So those initial tattoo risks seem pretty insignificant compared to potential long-term oxidative stress on the body. You know, those toxic particles from tattoo ink penetrating the skin, traveling through the body, the bloodstream, the lymphatic system, 
German and French scientists identified nanoparticles of titanium dioxide, one of the additives in white and color tattoo pigments, in the lymph nodes of deceased individuals while they were conducting the autopsies. So after people were dead, they had high concentrations of toxins in their immune system. The lymph nodes are kind of like rest stops for your body, the fluids going through. Everything that isn't supposed to be there is held to be detoxed. Problem is, our modern, highly damaging lives, all of these negative factors accumulate, making it near impossible to remove it effectively. And you could find dozens and dozens of articles linking tattoos to negative things like skin cancer, but you don't have to do that to utilize common sense. Very simple. Certain tattoo inks, most of them, have toxins and after being injected into your body are attacked by the immune system, attempting to remove them. Problem is, those toxins are injected into the body in astronomical amounts over a very short period of time, to the point you can argue they can never be effectively detoxed over a lifetime. You know, humans are very resilient and in most cases a minor level of inflammation from the tattoo toxins is something people take for granted as how they're supposed to feel. You can find non-toxic tattoo inks. I believe indigenous tribes use black ash from burned wood, which don't create as great of a tattoo. It doesn't last as long. It's not as vibrant to my knowledge, but at least you're not poisoning yourself. And in regards to tattoo removal, it seems like laser is the only real option. And a lot of the chemicals and stuff are very, very, very toxic and even worse for you than the tattoo over a short period of time. Laser is very painful and you kind of have to find someone that knows what they're doing. And speaking of the indigenous tribes and what they used to do, you know, I'm sure the history of tattoos can be looked into, but putting you know, black carbon ash in your body is certainly far better for you than any of this crap. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, some of you may have noticed we have Hitomi's tattoo here on the board. Hopefully my girlfriend is watching. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that bell icon so they don't notify you of my videos. Please let me know if I missed anything down in the comments below, guys. And of course, you can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.